Hi, I'm Kelsey Rothhaus and welcome to the second episode of Behind the Hype with Cal TV Sports. I'm here with starting shooting guard of our Cal men's basketball team, currently ranked 14th in the country, Jordan Matthews. Thank you so much for being here, Jordan. Really Happy to be here. It. How's your day going so far? How are you doing? It's going well. Just finished class. Um, going to go to practice after this. The usual. The usual daily grind. I like it. I like it. Now, Thanksgiving's also coming up, but you guys are going to be in Vegas for Thanksgiving. Any fun team plans, team dinner? Um, we'll probably have a team dinner or something, but you know the, the the goal is to go out there and win two games and represent the school to the best of our ability. So um, as long as we go out there and take care of business, that'll be the best. That'll be the the fun for us. The fun Thanksgiving yeah. day, excellent, excellent. Now you guys obviously have so much hype around the team. CBS Sports just came out saying that Cal has the most explosive starting five in college basketball. You're a part of that. How has all of that attention affected your personal game? Um, it hasn't affected me at all, actually. I just think that if we if we come to work every day, come to practice every day with our head down, looking to get better every day, then you know everything will fall into place. It's when you start to acknowledge the hype and you know read what people are saying about you is when you might fall into a couple traps and you know everybody might start going in a different direction. But um, I think we're a very tight knit group, and um, coach has us on the right path. And we, as long as we listen to him, we'll be fine. And with that, you were recruited by Montgomery, but you're playing for Martin. How has that change been? How's the experience been with that? The experience has been great. Um, I think we have the most unique coach in college basketball because he's someone who cares about you and pushes you every day. And he's willing to push you farther and farther every day, even if you don't want to be pushed, because he wants you to be good, not only in basketball, but in life. That's awesome. He seems like a great coach, and he has these two awesome recruits, obviously all the talk about Ivan Rabb and Jalen Brown. You know, they're great players, but they're still freshmen. They were playing in a high school gym last year. You as an upperclassman, do you feel like you've taken on a leadership role this year? Um, I feel like that's part of my role, but um, I'm not I'm not someone who wants to, like, tell them what to do because right. as a freshman, you kind of have to learn things uh, on the fly. Um, we're in a game situation. I'm not going to be able to tell them what, what Arizona's going to run or what right. someone else is going to run. They have to feel it for themselves. So. Um, I think we just need to lead by example. Tyrone, Sam, uh, Jabari, myself, we need to lead by example. And um, they're, they're smart players. They're really good. So they'll, they'll pick up on it um, fast. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That's a great way to look at it. You definitely seemed like a leader at the USC football game on Halloween. You guys were acknowledged <laughs> in front of the student section. Yeah. You took the mic. You led a cheer for the thousands of students. And you killed it. Very enthusiastic. I was there. Thank and you. you. Tried to hand it off to another player. No one would do it. Right. Do you do you want? Would you like be a mic man if you couldn't play basketball? I would. If I didn't play basketball, I would definitely try to be 100%. a mic man. Oh, I would do it. I would yeah. definitely do it. Yeah, I'd be part of Rally Cal. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Cal fan. I, I wasn't a huge like like I wasn't really into Cal sports when I first came to school, but as, okay. but the more I've been here, I'm into all sports. I want all sports to do very well. And you love calling all the chairs. I love I think all of them. You called like a "Give me a C, give me an A," and mm -hmm. everyone was so into it. Yeah, that great picture. I saw you guys yeah. posting it everywhere. Yeah, that was, was all over like, Instagram. Yeah, that was all over Instagram. Got yeah. lots of likes. Yeah. Okay, now you probably were especially enthusiastic about that game against USC because your own little brother just got recruited and officially signed. He's going to be playing basketball at USC, even though he got offers from Cal and other schools. How do you feel about that? How's that sibling rivalry? Um, I'm. I'm really I'm having mixed feelings about it because I want him to come to Cal and play with me, but I'm so proud of him and happy that he's been able to carve his own path and do what he's going to do, and he's going to be able to play at a high level also. So it's a, it's a, the, the competitor side of me wants to wants to really really kill him when we play him, but of course, of the course. older brother aspect is just proud and happy to have him in the Pac-12 with me. Excellent answer. That'll be fun next year. He's freshman year, senior. You guys yeah. are going to face off. How are your parents going to handle that? Um, they trying to get jersey split down the middle, <laughs> Cal side and USC side. So I think I think they'll find a way. I love it. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck the rest of the season. You guys are very fun to watch. If you haven't already checked out our first episode of Behind the Hype, take a look on Cal TV Sports YouTube channel and join us next week after Thanksgiving. Nasser Al Reyes will be interviewing someone from the Cal Dance team. Thank you again so much for being with us, Jordan. Thanks for having me. Like, I know I'm one of the best FIFA players in this school. You know what I mean? How are you? I mean, there's average and there's good, and then there's probably great, and then there's me. 